is Kanye West and Eminem saved. So this song called uh, Use This Gospel on uh, DJ Khaled's new album. Kanye West is singing the chorus and uh, notice, notice his words. It's a hard road to heaven. Now let's look at some verses in the Bible to see if this is in fact true. Let's start with Romans chapter 6 verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans chapter 5 verse 15. But not as the offense, so also is the free gift. For if through the offense of one many be dead, much more the grace of God. And the gift by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ hath abounded unto many, and not as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift. For the judgment was by one to condemnation, but the free gift is of many offenses unto justification. So clearly, salvation is a gift. Now, is it hard to receive a gift? Is it hard to receive a gift on your birthday? No, you just you just receive a gift. You receive the, the free gift of everlasting life by simply trusting in Jesus alone for your salvation. That he died for your sins, was buried, and rose again. See, this course is nothing but work salvation. Because if someone says it's a hard road to heaven, they're implying that there's something else to going to heaven besides believing in Jesus. Whether it be repenting of sins, good works, living a good life, etc. All that is your righteousness. Now, what is righteousness? Righteousness is doing that which is right. It would be right to turn from sins. It would be right to do good works, live a good life, etc. The point is it's not for salvation. The whole world will be judged in righteousness. Acts chapter 17 verse 31, Because he hath appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he hath ordained, whereof he hath given assurance unto all men, and that he hath raised him from the dead. Now, you can either stand in your own righteousness on Judgment Day, which the Bible does, doesn't recommend, Philippians chapter 3, verse 9, and be found in him, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith. If you want to be found in your own righteousness on Judgment Day, the end result is logically the lake of fire, because your righteousness is filthy rags. Isaiah chapter 64, verse 6. But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousnesses are as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. So you can choose your righteousness, or you can choose the imputed perfect righteousness of God himself that's simply received when you trust in Jesus. Romans chapter 3, starting verse 21. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets, even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe. For, those, for there is no difference, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. This is only offered to those who trust Christ alone, though. It's not offered to those who want to repent of their sins, do the good works, live the good life, and believe in Jesus. Either Jesus saves you 100%, or you can try and save yourself. Romans chapter 4, starting verse 3. For what saith the scripture? Abraham believed God, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Now to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. But to him that worketh not... But believeth on him that justified the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. You have to stop working to be saved. This chorus will promote a works-based salvation. Kanye's words condemn him, unfortunately. Matthew chapter 12, verse 36 through 37. But I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Now, some people may take these verses out of context to suggest one's judgment is based on how you talked. Now, there's some truth to that. The unsaved will be judged according to their works, not the saved. But when it says, by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned, I believe this is referring to what the person has to say when it comes to salvation. If I say that the road to heaven is hard, like Kanye, or that you must repent of your sins to be saved, I am implying salvation is by works. Therefore, I will be judged by my works, or I'd be cast into the lake of fire. What someone says reveals what they believe. If I say, I trust in Jesus alone to be saved, 
how you live has nothing to do with it. I am implying salvation is by grace. Therefore, I'm justified and saved by grace. Again, what someone says reveals what they believe concerning salvation. That's why it says in 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 4, starting verse 13, We have the same spirit of faith according as it is written, I believed, and therefore have I spoken. We also believe, and therefore speak, knowing that he which raised up the Lord Jesus shall raise up us also by Jesus and shall present us with you. Now let's hear Eminem's part. I was actually surprised. Let's see if Eminem's words uh, condemn him. Now that was actually a solid verse. No sign of work salvation. He even says calling upon the Lord as it says in Romans. But obviously who the heck knows if these two are saved or not. There's a bunch of other factors. And I think Kanye supports false prophet Joel Osteen. Maybe they're both saved. Maybe they're both unsaved. Who knows? There's a bunch of other factors. The point is what someone says shows what someone believes. Kanye is implying he believes in work salvation. And it's very sad because last time I checked, this video on YouTube alone had almost 1 million views. So lots of people will listen to that work salvation filth. It's very sad. But that's all I have. Is Kanye West and Eminem saved?